Hey everyone, this is Auntie Claus, back with the next boss fight. Or rather, two boss fights, because you gotta find this dude twice. Actually, you have to fight it right after the, the electric dog thingy. Um, but it was a fake Murashige. So now, you gotta fight him for real. You can actually opt out of that fight, or rather, you can do it optionally, you don't have to. It's a mission you can take, and you probably should, because it's, although it's one of the toughest, it's one of the most fun ones, I'd say. Can be frustrating, because that dude has got a ton of stamina, a ton of health, and Unlike you, he has his spirit animal with you, and that will be a major pain in the ass. You should stay mid-range to him, don't get too close, because if he hits you, he hits like a truck. But he does a lot of moves that drop his stamina to a very, very low level, and that's when you have to strike. Do everything you can to get him in this staggered state uh, to do major damage. Thing is, high stance attacks are far too risky because they take a lot of time. Let him exhaust himself and then strike. What comes in very handy in this fight is an Omnium Magic that's called Life Seal that will, if you hit him with it, will reduce his stamina regain to a bare minimum. It's very, very helpful. You can learn that at the dojo after a few missions. At this point, when you can take this fight, you should be able to learn it. And that's key to this fight. Elemental damage will help you, but impeding his key recovery is the most helpful thing by far. You see me cast that magic in a second, and then you will be able to see the difference in his key recovery. Make fair use of it, you don't have a lot of it, so put it to good use, and the hell stay out of his combos. They deal so much damage, learn them, unlike me, and then, like here make use when he's down, get him, punish him whenever they have the chance to, but don't get greedy. Watch out for his spirit animal, it's lightning imbued and slows your movement quite a lot. Since you had to fight him before in another arena, you should know most of his movements. The good thing in that arena is that you had two huge columns that protected you from some of his attacks by just hiding behind them. The luxury that you don't have here. So the first one was just to get good. Don't worry too much about his arrow attack, that's the least of her problems. Just be sure you stay out of his reach when he does one of those movements, because it's got a huge reach. The only good thing is that it'll drain his key again to make you able to punish him. This fight is all about key management. His and yours. And that's why Life Seal gives you such an advantage over him. As you can tell, it's a grind, but it's quite a cool fight. You gotta learn to deal with a real human, and a good one at that. That's exactly why this fight is so much fun and sticks out. You just gotta get beyond that frustration level, and you'll be frustrated in the beginning, believe me. It's really tough You get, get into a very different flow. I hope watching this will help you a bit with your preparation, so wish you a good fight. And I hope to see you the next time. Thank you. Bye.